So today we'll uh, go through some methods also, built-in methods. And now we move to uh, list methods. Okay, list also has a lot of methods, but not as much as string. So most famous one is append. Then we use copy. Copy, I told you, Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Copy, it is used to make deep copy. Okay. Then uh, count, we will see. Extend, we will see. Index. Huh. Uh, count, index, extend, append. What else are important? Uh, sort, we can see. Okay. These are some uh, methods we can see in list. So let's start with uh, creating a list. So this is my list. So I can say l dot count one. So how many times one is present? Two times. So I get two. If I count three, I get three because three is present three times. Okay. Uh, then I can add elements at the end of the list using append. So if I say l dot append. So append is used to insert a single element at the end of the list. Single element at the end of the list. So if I say append 5, okay, you can see 5 is appended at the end of the list. And it makes the change in the actual list, okay? Append changes the actual list, okay? It, it does not create a copy. It appends in the actual list, okay? Now, if I do L dot append 1, comma 2, comma 3. What will happen here? We'll list. insert the list. On Very list. good. So this list, it will be treated as a single element. Okay. So my new list will look like this. So you can see the entire list is appended as a single element. Okay. This is a single element. Is this clear? Yes. Now I'll use the same thing, but instead of append, I'll write extend. Now I'll see the difference between append and extend. You can see that when I use extend, so all the elements in this list, they are added at last. Separately, not as a single element, separately. Okay. So this is the difference between append and extend. Append only inserts a single element at the end of the list. Extend, it takes another list as input and put all the elements of this new list at the end of our original list. Okay. So when I say L dot insert six comma two, so what happens at index number six, you can see zero, one, two, three, four, five, six at index number six, two is inserted, two is inserted. Okay. So insert, it takes the index and the value that you want to insert. Okay. And it inserts that value at that particular index. Okay. And it shifts the other elements by one index. Okay. Is that clear? So append, extend and insert. These are used to insert elements in the list. How they append or uh, how they insert, they, that varies. Is that clear, guys? Yes. So this is like find in string. Okay. So here we can find and we can try to find an element. So I'll say L dot index five. So it will give me the first occurrence, the index of first occurrence of five. Okay. So five is present at index number eight. Okay. Now, if I try to find something that does not exist, let's see what happens. It gives me an error. Okay. It says six is not in the list. Okay. So it does not return minus one. It gives, instead it gives an error. Is that fine? Okay, so you can see when I use L dot sort, so it sorts my original original list in ascending order. Okay, and for descending, I guess uh, this is the yes. So if I say reverse equal to true, it uh it doesn't descending order. Okay, so this is an optional variable, uh, optional input. If you set set it as true, okay, it will uh sort in descending order if you set it to false which is the default value it will sort in ascending order 
Okay, so these are some list methods, guys. And remaining, you guys have to explore. Like, for example, reverse, remove, pop. What else is left? Clear, so it empties the list, that's all. Tuple are the most simple things. So tuple, uh, basically, they are, like I said, they are exactly same as list. What's the difference? What's the only difference? They are immutable. Very good. Hmm. So what, what are the methods that uh, do not change the list? Okay. So append changes the list. Clear changes the list. Copy. Copy do not change the list. It is used to create a copy. Okay. Count. Count again. Count. Uh, it, it does not change the list. It just counts something. Extend. Changes the list. Index do not change the list. It gives the index of the element we are searching. This changes the list. This changes the list. This changes the list list this changes the list and this also changes the list so there are only uh, three uh, methods left that do not change the list which is copy count and index correct now if i go to tuple so i'll just forget about copy you can see count and index these are the only two tuple methods that are there count and copy that's all is that clear and they have the same working as uh, they work for list. Okay. After that, chalo fir. Thank you guys. We'll meet tomorrow. Thank bye bye. You.